Sir? Uh, excuse me, sir? Would you mind stepping away from the Tobin Expo Hall sign, please, sir? You're starting to scare some of the guests. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to calm down a bit. I know you're excited for IAE tomorrow, but I promise you the free fly event will not impact the server performance whatsoever. Excuse me, miss. Are you okay? Are you... Oh, you're just really focused. Oh, I see what you're looking at. The new Siulin, however you say the name of this, Jian starter ship. Actually, it looks pretty cool. I, I may just have to fly one of these tomorrow. Extinguish threats, fight for peace. Citizens for Pyro. What the heck is this? Stop the invasion. Beware ships under alien control. Buying alien makes them strong and us weak. When the next war comes, they will use their ships against us. Wow. Wasn't expecting this game to get so politically charged all of a sudden. Then again, I do really want one of those ships. They are cool and purpley looking. Let's see. Can I get a sneak peek at the expo hall? Oh, look. The event calendar. Yep, starting on the 17th. I think that's when we get to see all the cool alien ships, which I'm excited about. Not sure what else is planned other than that RSI ship. And it looks like, yeah, no elevator access. All right, fine. I'll just go look at the new tumbrel storm tank thingy, whatever it is. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that uh, I don't think this is supposed to be here. But uh, it's impressive that it is. All right, Storm, you're looking pretty cool swaying in the wind realistically as t as tanks do, you know. I gotta say CIG knows how to make a good looking vehicle a little bit nonsensical in its design. I don't think those treads can compress much for the suspension and uh, I think the entrance is on the front of the tank, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense if that's supposed to be your, you know, main damage resistance point, but whatever, it looks cool. Deploy the weapon rack, okay? Is that little arm a weapon rack? Can I put a weapon on it? Place machine gun. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> Good job, CIG. Ooh, button. Button, button, button. Cool. Compartment thing. Ooh, another compartment thing. These look cool. I like doors. Another compartment thing. It's probably shields. All right, let's take her for a spin. See if those new vehicle physics are all there cracked up to be. This is, I mean, it's a very cool looking entry sequence. Like this. Interesting. There's like, oh, okay. It's sort of like a digital display thing that lights up at different times. Nice looking interior. God, CIG knows how to make a good looking vehicle. Ooh, head tracking is controlling the turret. Not ideal. Let's, uh, let's open her up. Let's see what she's got. Well, it hasn't flipped over yet, so it's a massive improvement over the STV. What do we think? Are wheeled vehicles the future? It's got a nice wide suspension. I can turn without flipping it. I mean, we are testing its ability to traverse a field, which shouldn't be too challenging, but it's it's handling it. It's passing this test so far. All right, let's do some hill climbing. I mean, this is essentially what a, a ground mission should be in Star Citizen. It's like, move five kilometers this way, over the hills and meadows and whatever, and attack this target. Kind of slow on the uphill. I mean, the torque's... Okay, it's not too bad. I don't know what's up with this weird sound effect thing whenever I hit something where my suspension activates. It sounds a little wonky. It actually feels like it doesn't have suspension. I don't know if that's just because the camera's so locked into the vehicle or something. Definitely a bumpy ride. Bumpy, bumpy ride. But it's making it up to the top. Uh, it does a lot better than the Nova does, that's for sure. So it's definitely got a mobility edge on the Nova, like without question. God, Microtech looks so dang good. All right, downhill's not bad. Can really pick up some... Oh, we okay? All right. I mean, I definitely would have flipped an STV so far. So as long as it can bounce around a bit and recover, I think we're okay. Because most of the plane is a procedure. Oh, I think we're good. Come on. Storm. 
Storm now. <laughs> Why, Chris? Oh. Oh, can we use the turret? There we go. It's got a self-writing mechanism. If you just turn the turret to the side, you can <laughs> you can flip your takeover. All right, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay. Um <laughs> for a vehicle that's supposed to be off-road, fast, agile, nimble. Like, maybe it shouldn't flip over the front when you hit the brakes too hard. Just a suggestion. All right, can I make this work again? Come on, turret. Come on, turret. Yeah. There we go. It works. I hope that doesn't damage the gun. I mean, it, it would in real life, but... I'll take anything in this game to sort of keep me, keep me going. All right, let's see how Jason does in the Nova. See if he can actually get up the side of the hill. Nova's not doing bad. I'll just help him. Some some bullets. All right, I was watching a Burks video that basically showed that in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the Nova's gonna win. Whoa, for the most part. But I think if, uh, maybe in a specific situation, if you got a good flank or something, Nova Driver wasn't good, you could maybe take one out. All right, Jason, take your best shot, dude. Yeah, Nova doesn't seem to have a lot of, um, distance compensation, if I remember correctly. Tricky vehicle to aim. They gotta do a lot of work on ground vehicles, in my opinion. Holy crap, all right. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let's see what the next shot does. Hey, I'm still here. Still here, okay. Storm could take a little bit of a beating. I think it's still mobile. Oh. All right, very susceptible to extreme range. I don't imagine this one would be particularly effective at range. You gotta get in close, stay agile. All right, so as I was recording this video today to try and uh, warm you up for IAE tomorrow, CIG actually launched the new patch live. So the actual International Aerospace Expo isn't going live till tomorrow still, but the patch will be out. So you'll be able to test all the new tractor beam stuff that I've shown off of previous videos. This vehicle, the Tumbrel Storm will be in there. The new Spirit uh, cargo ship is gonna be in there bunch of new missions and other changes. The patch list is uh, fairly extensive, to be honest. So check it out, guys. I will be streaming this tomorrow with IAE, um, and hopefully we'll have a straight to flyable ship that we can check out. I'm quite excited for Alien Tech, and I think that new Xeon starter ship could be really cool, but we'll have to wait and see tomorrow. So again, tune in for that, guys. And next up, check out this video where I basically break down everything left for CIG to do to finish up spaceships in Star Citizen. It's one of my favorite features of Star Citizen, but listing off all the things that need to change and be updated for spaceships. It's a pretty astronomically huge list. I think you'll enjoy the video. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see a bunch of you tomorrow. This is Level Cap, signing off.